Hey, Miss Pat and Jordan, how you guys doing? Good. Yes, how you doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. Happy Thursday. <laughs> right. I would just, I know I got a little bit of time, but I just want to talk about season three. First, Miss Pat, you are hilarious. You are, <laughs> it, what was the whole process of this show? I have to give it uh, to Jordan on that one. He He's, he's the creator. I'm the actress. <laughs> <laughs> I Jordan, Jordan, what made you say this is a show and I knew I needed Miss Pat to be the star and it has to be named after her? So she so she had been do, working in Hollywood trying to get a show. Hollywood had wanted to give her a show. Uh, she was partnered with Lee Daniels and Imagine. And they had worked through a couple of different concepts and yeah. And uh, then finally, I was a senior in college actually. And mm -hmm. and uh, Pat came to see uh, Ain't No Mo, my play. And she was like, Negro, you write like a big black woman. <laughs> 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 she was like, you can, you can write this damn show. And so I came to her and I was like, you know what? I want to do a concept. I was like, I would like to do a sitcom version of, of yourself and do it in front of a live studio audience, but it's rated R. You get to be exactly who you are. Cause I know before they were trying to put her on network TV, which I just don't think would have been the most authentic version of herself. And so I was like, okay, we're gonna take you off of network TV. I wanna put you on a streamer and we're gonna do a rated R family sitcom. And she was like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> and I remember the first time I sent her a draft of the script and she read it back and she said, I can't say nigga on TV. And I was like, yes, you can. That's how you talk. She said, nigga, I don't talk like that. <laughs> and so thankfully, you know, she she trusted Gary Otta. Gary Otta talked her into it too. And she was like, all right, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. And so from that day forward, she just completely trusted me and completely trusted the vision. Um, and I really wanted to make those old school sitcoms, but with Miss Pat at the at the helm and getting a chance to just be her authentic self. Nice. I love to hear that. So now we're at season three. What should we be expecting for Miss Pat and the family for season three? Funny. I mean, this is this might be the funniest season. Uh, we made we made it light. Uh, well, Jordan, we all made it light, so you could just breeze through it. We didn't we didn't we didn't hit you across the head like we did the first two seasons. <laughs> we hit you across well, the head, but it, it was with a mallet, not yeah. not a bat. <laughs> <laughs> so, but you know, um, as far as what the season is about, again, I'll throw that over to Jordan. No, so, so <laughs> this season is really just about growth. It's about watching Pat juggle being a, a mom and a comedian and a parent and a wife all at the same time and seeing if she can keep those balls all in the air at once uh, without one of them falling. And as you see when you watch the season, one of them falls. Um, and really it's, it's, it's just a season of growth for her and also for the other characters. And also, like she said, we call it our, I love Lucy season. It's a very, it's a very, uh, comedic old school, heavy kind of vibe this year. Nice. What was it that made you say I need season three to be light? Cause season one and season two, you came out the gate running. Is that like something that has to happen in it? Or did you just think like, we need to give the audience another aspect of the show? I think it because we got picked up for season three in the middle of season two. And we was like, uh, before we take these people money, what are we going to do? <laughs> <laughs> Jordan cried like, like, we can't do those back to back season. I That's said, boy, we're going to get that money. I, come on here, calm down. We're going to figure out something. And bam, season three came yeah. out. Uh, we shot it back to back. Season two and season three were shot back to back. So that's why it was like, yeah, it was a, it was a lot. It was a lot. Um, but really, mm -hmm. it, it was like an extension of season two. And it was because season two was such a, so heavy. Uh, it was hilarious, mm -hmm. but we dealt with some really, really, really tough topics. And we deal with tough topics in season three. But but season three really was just kind of a, an exhale. It was like, whew. Mm -hmm. All right, now let's like let's let's see what else this family can do. And we really wanted to lean into that comedy pool this year. Take your wig nice. off. Season. <laughs> I love that. How are you able to create that? You know, you guys do deal with heavy topics. How are you able to, Jordan, make it still funny, make it still something that we can, you know, relate to, but still laugh at? Because that's art form. Everyone can't do it. Yeah. It's a, you know what's so funny is that when I first saw Pat. She was on a daytime talk show and 
uh, my dad had recorded yeah, her. He was like, you gotta, you gotta watch this woman. She's hilarious. She's, you know, she's been shot. She was sold drugs and she's hilarious and da, da, da. He was like, she needs to write a book or she needs a show. And I remember watching it and I fell in love with her because she was everything that I represent as far as my writing, which is mm -hmm. laughter and, and, and pain and, and those two things kind of mixing in together. And so really that's, that's how I write and that's how she lives and that's how she writes on stage. So it just naturally kind of comes together in this way where it's like, we can deal with the pain, but we gotta give some medicine. We gotta give some medicine on the way to the pharmacy. You know what I mean? So it's, it's really, it's, it is an art form. It's hard, not everybody can do it. But thankfully we, we find a way to, to, to take the most crass jokes uh, and somehow have you fallen over on the floor laughing at the darkest thing. And you know? it's not preachy. That's one of the things I told Jordan. I said, a lot of times mm -hmm. we have black creators, when we trying to get a message across, we come out preaching like a black preacher. I don't right. want to teach you nothing. I want you to soak in. <laughs> we wanted you to soak in what we, what we was given. Mm -hmm. If you didn't want it, brush it to the side. If you want it, let it get in it to you like cocoa butter. But you know, yeah. you can't force cocoa butter on people. So we <laughs> even though some people need it. <laughs> so it, but not the old school thick, but not the one where it's too thick. I need some, you know, kind of argan oil or something. <laughs> so we, we just we didn't want to come off preachy because you see that all the time when black people want to tell uh, a group of people something. We just want everybody to laugh and to sneak into you like, oh, I learned something. Today. It's a Trojan horse. It's really a Trojan horse. Well, thank you both so much. That's all the time I have with you both today. And I really appreciate that. She thought I was talking about Trojan condoms. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Again. Again, thank you both so much. I'm so looking forward to season three. I'm looking forward to more seasons and even more projects outside of this path that you probably will do together later on. We yes. tried. Yes. Thank you. Have a great Have day. A you. you too. Thank you. you too. <laughs>